They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. And so, there I was, Professor Jack B. Nimble, about to jump over the candlestick when I realized it wasn't a candle at all, but a nest of fire-breathing baby dragons. <gasps> your assignment is to come up with a tall tale of your own. See, it's just that since I'm cursed to never lie, I'm not real good at stretching the truth. Well, then why don't you try to find a real-life story that is so dramatic that it sounds like a tall tale? Perfect! Wait. Where am I going to find one of those? My, what big muscles you have. All the better to hug you with. Wait a splinter. You two are dating. What? No, that's silly. Of course we're not. Romantic picnic. Um, heart-shaped cupcakes. Really, guys? Come on. Uh, these aren't romantic. My uncle made them. What about this? Your initials? Inside a heart? Oh, we didn't do that. Must have been that, uh, woodpecker. Bad woodpecker. Uh. Okay, well, what about this? Ashlyn, I'm so glad we're secretly dating. Love, Hunter Huntsman. I mean, come on. You wrote that for me? <gasps> when Professor Nimble asks me if anything dramatic happened today, I'm gonna have to tell everyone about you guys. I can't lie. What did I do? I'm not so alone. Wait a splinter. I think I have an idea. Well, I was out walking in the woods, and I saw something pretty amazing. I saw Hunter and uh, their home. That girl is a nut. In all the right ways. This is so obvious. I mean, come on.